Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and welcome to my channel. And it's Floral Friday, and we're working on really fast, loose, easy magnolia blossoms. I go over this step by step. I attach a um, reference material, but this is so easy, we can do this in under 10 minutes. No kidding. Any beginner can do this. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. On Thursdays, I have exclusive tutorials. Uh, they're weekly and traceables that go on my YouTube and ad free videos. It's a place people can go and support my channel. This past week we did a beautiful spring water flower can um, with some spring, spring florals. So this was a fun one. So again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to go over all our supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. I just tore this the 9 by 12 sheet in half, so it's 6 by 9. Um, my palette, my paints, my water jars, my paper towel. Um, we're going to be working with crimson today. Burnt umber, yellow oak, yellow cadmium yellow deep, and peacock blue. Um, the brush I'll be using is the Princeton Neptune number no. 10. It's like a nice moppy kind of brush. Um, I might back out, go back in and tweak it, maybe with a four. Uh, here we go, for like some details. But we want this loose and fun. Um, I have attached the reference photo um, in the description box. Hit the word show more on the description and you'll the box drops down and you can see all the links to supplies, what supplies I have, whatnot. This is supposed to be a fun, loose exercise, pretty quick nothing to be stressed about um nothing really sketchy i mean to sketch about so i basically just you know sketched in you can just sketch in where the branches go but we're not going to go by we're not going to follow that exactly to the t we're going to just do our own kind of like loose interpretation of that so if it help if it helps you to kind of sketch in the the blooms and in the branch that's fine but I don't think it's necessary I mean maybe just the branch you know we're gonna do that second because the blooms are kind of really pale pink and obviously you see that the the dark branch pale pink so you want the pink done first in the section definitely and then you can just put the dark brown right on top of that otherwise you're working the opposite way which is more difficult so um, this is going to be really simple. I'm not kidding. Excuse me. I'm just going to take the number 10, get some water on my brush, and I have the crimson right here. I'm just going to get a bunch of that paint. I'm going to get really loose. Now, if you want to practice, see I'm adding a lot of water, making the blooms. I suggest you do that. I have crap scrap paper here, and you're just going to practice doing the blooms. So basically, they're like rounded tips. You can practice pushing the pet like that you can go like that and that's a lot of paint so I would have to mop that up I would have to clean, take off the paint with my brush so there's a couple ways you could do it you could just paint the paint like that with the water or just clean off your brush take water itself make that shape again grab your crimson right here you can have a bleed down see I'm just playing around with paint you gotta play around I even play around too see clean up your brush get just water in there just move it around and you're gonna lift it up again put it on your paper towel so you're creating this like this really pretty pale flower but we're not gonna kind of do that we're gonna practice doing really loose flowers so you get the paint on your brush See, just like this. Really, just really simple. You're already making the shape. How fast was that? <laughs> this is really fast. I'm not kidding. So, got the paint right here. I got some more water on my brush. It's very watery. When it's super watery, you might want to dab in a paper towel. So now we're gonna take this movement again. Starting from here, you're going to have your branch where it starts here. You do, you sketched out your branch and you do that movement to get that rounded leaves. 
right? And this one's going to kind of curve a little bit. So you're doing this curvy kind of motion. Really pale because it's watered down. You want this really just loose. Don't worry about this back flower. We're not going to concentrate on that one that's hiding. We're just doing these petals that are open like this. See? And go back in here and get that one over here where the branch is going to go on top of it. Just like that. You can work on the other one too. Let me zoom in a little bit better so you can see. Okay. Again, this is just really simple. Wah, wah. That one might be a little bit darker than the picture. So what? See, I'm just doing this outward, swooping back in, really loose. I'll grab some water. This might be a little bit dark, so I might have to lift up some of the paint. We want this really loose. And I'll lift up some of that paint. See how I mop it up? Just grab it. We try not to get hard edges on this. We're trying to get soft. See? Just like that. Now, it doesn't have to be totally pink. I'm going to be having some little fun time here. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to fix that petal. See, I'm just lifting up the paint. I might go back in and add some pink. We can go in and add some, make some orange kind of color tone. So I have the yellow. Get me a little deep. I'll add the crimson. So it's a little bit of orange kind of going in there. I'm looking for an abstract kind of look. Go back in with the pink. We don't necessarily have to keep the same, just boring pink. See, I'm just kind of tapping that in there. Grab some more of that yellow. I want this to be fun. Just kind of tapping in another color. You can get a little bit darker at the pink if you want to. Grab some of that crimson. A little bit darker by the branch. See, I'm going to add some more of that pink. Just kind of playing around. Wah! And that pink color again. We want this kind of really fun and loose. So again, I'm going to grab some more of this pink color. They dried really light. Dried. Dried. <laughs> I can't speak today. So we're just doing that. If you want to make some purple tones, you grab the crimson, right? Put it over here. Grab that peacock blue. If that blue is kind of, that purple is kind of dull, because the crimson is kind of a dull color, you can go ahead and grab some magenta and peacock blue, and you have a nice, prettier purple. I know purple's not in the photograph, but we're going to just have some fun with it, adding a little purple in there. We want ours to be different, abstract. So I'm getting more water on my brush. I'm cleaning off that brush from the purple. Just going to go back in here. I want the edge kind of just pale and loose. Going back in here again, lifting up some of that paint. You can make the blooms a little bit darker if you wanted to. I'm going to go back in and add some more pink. All right, at this point, you know, it could get a little messy and muddy. I'm going to go back in and add some of that um, yellow orange kind of color. I'm going to let it sit. And we're going to have to let that dry. And we're going to go back in on the branch 
if you like I said if you want to add just another little pale blue note here I'm gonna add another one here but see just see how simple that was you're just kind of playing with this this movement this one has a, a, a leaf that's kind of curved back but I don't know I'm not gonna really kind of do that I'm just gonna do this simple kind of pretty leaf like that Trying to keep it more abstract. This kind of got muddled, so I might take a piece of my paper towel. Just kind of lift up that paint. And I can go back in and give that one a little more definition. Same thing here. Here. because it's very wet. It's doing this whole bleeding kind of situation. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna come back and work on the branches. So that's all dry now. We can start working on some of the branches. I'm gonna lift up this purple paint. So it has little, you see this green little, um, little buds and the green from the bloom to the branch. We're gonna be mixing up that. So we have the cadmium yellow deep, grab some peacock blue, mix that nice pretty green, kind of nice bright green. Really bright, almost like a lime color. I'm just gonna paint that in really loosely, see? And here, you see the green kind of going here. And the bud is here. And the other bud is over in here. Kind of want to lift up a little of this. I want a little brighter yellow. It got a little, I want to say, of looking. I'm on the bright green side. If yours comes out a little muddy, just, you know, lift it up, add a little more yellow. There we go. I wanted my little more yellow green. It's good to have paper towels close by, just for this reason. Just gonna go in and add yellow. Okay. So we have that uh, burnt umber. It's kind of like reddish brown. We wanna get a little bit much darker. See how dark that brown is? We're gonna add a little peacock blue to that. See, it's already getting darker. Much darker brown. And I would make it not super watery. Okay, so I'm just gonna make the simple branch shapes. And we can have it kind of two-tone too. I might have some of the burnt uh, umber because I think that looks a little too brown brown kind of going here let's move this palette here move this out see I have my paper towel close by making the shape keeping that light brown and we're going to add on to the dark just connect it right and then this is why we painted this leaf first because we're going to go over it. And that would be behind it. And so we don't want it to be, you know. So I'm going to go back in with the other colors. Get that dark. See, I'm just going to tap that little color in there, the darker brown that we made. Just like that. Get the two-tone brown there going. There's little nubs. You can see little nubs on the branch. Just like that. See? Already that looks really pretty, right? You could have add like you just follow the the 
um, picture of just the two blooms. You could add like another little bloom here. I would actually, it's not in the picture, but I'm going to go ahead and add another little branch and a little, another little green bud. This is how you take liberty of like creating your own. You take the picture, you kind of interpret it differently. You add more blooms, like I could go down here and add another branch coming here. And I could add a tiny bloom. So I'll go grab the green. Again, it's not in the picture. I'm doing this intuitively right now. So I'll grab some of that pink paint. Just make a simple bloom, a tiny one. See? Well. Lifting up some of the paint. I kind of liked it with the three anyway because I felt like I don't like things in twos. <laughs> I know. It's probably because my dad. He made me do that when I was a kid. Everything should be in threes. So I'm adding that green um, connection to the bud here. And I'll go back in and get that brown. Look, already you've got your bloom, right? It's done. And you know, like I did before, I like to add some of the color elements. I was adding a little bit of orange. A little purple, a little bit different. You make this a little different. This is like an abstract interpretation. So these ones are already dry. This is where you can get some fun details in. You can take your smaller brush. I have the number four. And you have that crimson. Right? It's, it's darker, but just water down a bit and dab a few towel. And you can just take the tip of this and make these nice little lines. Coming from the, where the branch meets the, where the bloom starts. Just going out like that and outline a few of them. Just a simple. Can get even lighter than that. That's kind of dark. Really delicate in the lines. See that? Just a simple little lines. You can go back in also and get it a little bit darker here where the bloom touches the branch part. Just making these little lines. So they have these little lines in them, see? All these little lines. Depending on how you like it to look, you can make them darker or lighter. I'm actually adding some bigger ones like you see in the picture and then some small ones. So that's kind of more the realistic part of this. We wanted to keep it mostly loose. Oh, that's a little too bright. Going to water it down. Let's see, just going to do a little bit of those lines. I'm not going to do them everywhere. Just a touch. Go back in here. I see it completely changes the flower. It's still kind of wet. Gonna have to go fix that green. And really, how long did this take you guys? To make these simple, really pretty. Gonna have to fix that green. <laughs> It just completely dried. So I'll go back in and I'll add my green. I mean, seriously, guys, it didn't take that long at all, did it? You can just tweak your little blooms. I might go and just add some crimson right in here, a little bit of red into the branch. 
right? At this point, it's completely done. How long did that take us? Like five minutes? I would like when the to have some fun with this, get some really loose crimson, and you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab another brush. Just do a little bit of splatter. Oh, that was too big. <laughs> I'm gonna lift, the, lift it up right away. There we go. We want it kind of fun and tiny. Not super heavy. Just a delicate splatter. And you can add another color too. Like I might add some of this yellow. And that's that. Seriously guys, I think we did this in under 10 minutes. And you can just tweak the little parts like I showed you before. If you want it a little bit darker, kind of here, just go back in, add another layer. See, and it's gonna just change the flower again. Just like that. But I want this really simple and easy. See, I'm just gonna go back in, la la la. Add the color. This is what you do with the number four. You just this is for like the, the real detail kind of stuff. All that. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Like I said, um, I had exclusive tutorials on Thursdays and, uh, you know, it's just a place people can go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. Um, you guys are awesome. And that's that. So take care, guys. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll speak to you soon.